Well, it is the biggest prize in tennis going on this week in England at the Wimbledon Championships, of course. In 23 ABC, Stephen Hicks here with more on one local who actually took to those prestigious grass courts, Stephen. Yes, in the early 80s were the golden years for tennis. You had record-breaking TV numbers and huge crowds flocking to see the big hair and even bigger personalities of guys like Borg, McEnroe, Connors, and Bakersfield's very own Hank Fister. That arm straight. Take a trip to the Stockdale Country Club and you'll find a man <laughs> for whom tennis is second nature. You still want to keep the racket moving straight through the ball so you don't yank up. Hank Fister teaching the next generation. Feet switch, come on, where are your feet? And doing it his own way. He'll make me run until I can't run anymore. Pretty old school guy. Really old school. An attitude he learned from the old school days of tennis. <laughs> The game is much mental as it is physical. You kind of have to have that show off mentality a little bit where you, you like to get out there and mix it up. And you look forward to trying to beat somebody that you probably shouldn't beat. Playing in the late 70s and early 80s, he faced a lot of those guys. From world number ones Bjorn Borg and Boris Becker to Jimmy Connors yes, and you cannot be serious. John McEnroe, the four won a combined 32 major titles, so avoiding intimidation was key. Walk out on center court Wimbledon for a U.S. Open with 25,000 people looking at you and not be scared. It, it takes takes some courage to do that. Fister routinely did just that, and in 1983 he ascended to 19th in the world rankings. I, know, I have two medals from winning the French Open doubles twice. I didn't even know where they were at the time. Time, trips around the world were just part of the job, so hanging on to video of his matches or keepsakes for major championships was just unheard of. Luckily, my wife put a few of them away, and I go find them, and I go, oh, that is kind of cool now, you know? Now it seems cool. Then it just seemed like, you know, it's something to wrap my dirty clothes up in. I didn't care less about it. Today, Fister says the stars are hard to watch. I get bored with it, watching, you know, ground shot, ground shot, ground shot. I see all the, pat all the chances to come in and come forward and take advantage, and they don't. That's it. Today, he's trying to bring back the art of the serve and volley. Turn your shoulders a little more, get that racket back a little bit. And today, he's back at the club his dad started. 25 years later, I'm still here. Now, he's found a drive to help the next generation. When you're done reaping the benefits of the game, it's time to give a little bit back. Time. At 63, it's starting to catch up. Uh, too tough. Time to help others catch a love for the game. Too good, Palmer. Now, Fister's quest to grow the game locally comes with the goal of improving facilities. An all-new tennis center is set to open at Stockdale Country Club in September of this year. In the studio, Stephen Hicks, 23 ABC Sports.